Beloved, one of the most difficult psychological behavior of human beings is the fact of how much confidence he puts in another man or another woman. Beloved, look what the Word of God says in Psalms 118 and of the 8th verse. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. The Word of God also says in, uh, let's see, uh, Psalms 40 and 4. Blessed is the man that maketh the Lord his trust and respected not the proud nor such as turned aside to lies. Beloved, that is very difficult for us to understand who walk in the fullness of Christ. To understand how can one put so much trust in man who cannot deliver himself or woman who cannot heal herself from a disease or get herself out of a difficult situation in life. But yet we put so much confidence in individuals. Beloved, the Lord God warns us against that when he says this. It is better to trust in the Lord, to place our trust in the Lord, to leave our trust in the Lord, to call upon the Lord and then wait upon the Lord and trust the Lord. I believe that we are many times are just moving too quickly in this life. We are so in a rush that we are not willing to wait upon the Lord in His timing and His due season. But when we know that the Lord is on our side, and we know that the Lord never fails us, and we know that the Lord is always on time, when we get that established in our heart, beloved, only then will we stop placing our confidence in men and their decisions and begin to trust fully in the Lord. There is nothing as great as that as to place all your trust in the Lord. I'm not talking about some of your trust. You know, there are people who say, well, you know what? I got to depend upon others in order that I can get that which I need. Beloved, the Lord uses people in order to meet your needs. Amen? Everything that we get in our life, everything that the Lord blesses us with, many of the times it comes from others. But the Lord uses it. It's like when the Lord, uh, Jesus, uh, and the disciples in this desert place, and uh, when he told them to give, to those who had gathered around, which was a multitude, I believe over 5,000. And he said, give them to eat. And they said, Lord, what, will, what can we do? Uh, will we go to basically to a store and, and, and gain and bring it back to the people so that they'll be able to eat? No. The Lord said, no. Uh, uh, what do you have? And they supplied him with just a minimal. And then the Lord blessed that and it flourished. And fed everyone that was there. Because whatever you have, you bring that before the Lord and put confidence in Him. And He will bring the provisions forward. Yes, He may use others, but He don't want us counting on others and putting our confidence in others. But rather, 
putting our confidence in the Lord and the Lord alone. And beloved, when we do that, then we are putting the horse before the cart rather than the cart before the horse. And we can walk in confidence because once we put our confidence in the Lord as according to God's word, then we are established. Amen? We are established when we put our confidence in Him and not in man. Glory be to the Lord, dearly beloved. The Lord tell us to put all our trust in the Lord and put no confidence in man. Amen? Know that the Lord will use others, but put no confidence in them, but put your confidence in the Lord. Be blessed this day.